So today I'm doing a video on the hair that I have on right now. And this is a wig from RPG Show. Um, it is super big and glamorous. Before we get into anything else about the hair, I will go ahead and say what I'm wearing. My lashes are um, by a friend of mine. They're called Royal Crown Lashes. And I'll be doing a review on her lashes very, very soon. Her lashes aren't going to be available until spring of 2015. On my lips, I have Lime Crime Salem. Um, this shirt is from Hope's Couture, which I will be doing a lookbook video for Hope's Couture soon. So be sure to check that out as soon as I get that video up, whenever that will be. If it's not already up, it probably will already be up, though, before I put this video up. So, wait. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen me with hair this big before. I have worn um, Princess Hair Shop's Deep Curly Hair a long time ago. That was, like, one of the first review videos that I actually ever did. Um, it was the first virgin hair that I had ever tried and I think I had a sew-in and I wore it to Florida and then it got really messed up and all that stuff. But yeah, that was the first hair that I ever bought from a virgin hair company so that was like my first experience with it. So I never really was excited to try curly hair again. I've always been scared of curly hair because of that experience that I had with that hair. I don't have to fool with my leave out or nothing because um, it's a lace wig. This is the NC003. I think that's the right one, but if I'm wrong, you guys know where to look. This is 20 inches long, and um, if you guys are wondering, that's my plant, Margaret, and the thing about Margaret is she's a nocturnal plant, so I'm sorry if it looks dead, but she's not dead, I promise. She does that. She sleeps in the daytime, and at nighttime, she lifts up. I'll show you guys one day, but... She looks, she looks dead, but she's, she's really not. I promise I take care of my plant. I promise. What was I gonna say? Oh, oh 20 inches. So the hair is 20 inches. Um, that's how long it is on me. It comes to about my bra strap. Yeah, so I'm excited about this hair because I haven't had big hair in so long and I love it. I love how glamorous it makes me feel. Like, I feel like I should be in a music video. You guys just don't even know. I and mean, it just fits, you know? It just fits the whole diva vibe. Um, and I'm loving it, so. I did notice that when I was putting it on, but when I was when I was like kind of like finger combing through it after I took it out the, the box. Um, this is fresh out the box, by the way. I didn't have to do anything to it. I like to show you guys what the wigs look like when they're fresh out of the box, just because I know sometimes you can get a perception of what a wig looks like when it's on a YouTube guru's head um, after they've already kind of styled it and manipulated it to make it perfect to their head. A lot of times I find that if I got the same wig and I try to do the same thing, it won't look the same on my head. It looks messed up unless I do it exactly the way that they do it, which sometimes that doesn't work for me. So I wanted to show you guys what the wigs look like when they come straight out the box and if I would wear it straight out the box because most people are just going to wear their wigs straight out the box. The only alterations that I did to this wig was cutting off the lace around the perimeter of the hair and on the part I put a little bit of eyeshadow um, as you can see, I have no hair out on the sides, um, but because this hair is so big, it's so easy for it to mask, you know, you really don't have to have any hair to wear this, so the hair was shedding a little bit. When I was taking the hair out of the box, I did notice a little tiny bit of shedding, um, but once I finally got the wig on, it was... It wasn't shedding at all. In fact, I can run my fingers through it right now and it won't shed at all. It doesn't get matted easily. I know sometimes um, hair like this can get matted, especially in the back, but it's not matting up on me at all from what I've noticed. Um, and the thing about this is that it will be a lot easier to rock this as opposed to a sew-in, only because a sew-in, you have to really maintenance the hair, like you have to take care of it, um, like you would your real natural hair. You sleep on it, and when you like go in water and stuff like that, that's a whole nother ball game that I do not want to do. So that's why I, I like the fact that this is a wig and I don't, I can just take it off 
and I don't have to deal with all of that. So um, I'm so bouncy right now. I don't even know why I'm hyper. I haven't eaten anything. Um, but yeah, um, and I'm not even gonna lie. This hair is inspired by my girl Naturally Nisi because Naturally Nisi is the bomb and we're YouTube sisters now. So I feel like since she gave me a shout out on her video, I should give her a shout out. So hey Nisi. I don't know if there's anything else you want me to say. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. That's pretty much all I have to say. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.